In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Kahoot quiz. I've already gone ahead and logged into my Kahoot account, and I'm at my dashboard. To create a new Kahoot, you're going to click the new K button in the upper left hand corner. You have three choices when it comes to Kahoot, a quiz, a discussion, or a survey. The quiz is the only one that will award points based on correct answers. If you want to have a discussion about a particular topic or you'd like to conduct a survey where points are not awarded, those are the two options where points are not awarded. We're going to create a game, so we're going to do a quiz. The first thing you need to do is give your quiz a name. Enter the quiz name and click go. You'll need to enter the question at the top and then at least two answer choices, although you can have up to four answer choices. You can determine if this question will be a points question or a no points question, and you can also set a time limit of up to 120 seconds per question. We're going to go ahead and lower this to 10 seconds. You can include an image, and the image is shown as the question is being shown. And the image doesn't really have to relate to the question, although it could. So since I'm asking about what the processor is, I might put a picture of a processor here. If you choose not to put a picture in, then they will choose one, a general Kahoot picture for you. You also need to um, choose the correct answer for the question, and so the processor is also called the central processing unit. So you need to mark which answer is correct. You can go ahead and add a new question and follow the same steps. For each question, you determine the points, set the time limit, and you have to pick the correct answer. And you can continue adding questions to your quiz. You have the option of moving back back through the questions. You can delete a question, again add a question, and when you're finished you're going to go on to the next step which is to reorder the questions. Now you can change the order of the questions in your Kahoot if you want to just by clicking on these arrows here. If you want to edit the title you can click the edit option here. We'll go to review the settings. Uh, we need to explain a little bit more about our quiz. We need to select the language. The privacy settings, if you want it to be public so that anybody can use it, or if you want it to be private so that only you can access it. And the primary audience, um, since this is K-12, you'll select school. You can also give it a description and set the difficulty level and add some tags so that people can better find your quiz. Um, these options down here are optional, but can really help if you're making the quiz public. It can help others who are looking at your quiz to potentially give it to their own class um, by setting these things Things, you can um, help those people out. The, we'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, cover image is optional, um, but again you can add an image to help you better identify your different uh, quizzes that you have in your account. Otherwise just a standard Kahoot image will be placed there. When you're done, go ahead and click Done. You'll see that your quiz is done. You can view your Kahoot page. You can make another quiz. You can actually go ahead and play it now. You can edit the quiz or you can preview it. Remember, if you go into preview mode, that's going to show you your options here on the left hand side and a student device here on the right side so that you can see how this is going to work with your students. If we go back to the me option, you'll be able to see the quiz that we just created. If you notice that there's a mistake in it or you want to make some changes to it, you can simply hover your cursor over this area and click the edit button. Editing will allow you to be able to change each of the questions. Again, you can navigate through the questions here. Um, and then you can go through the same process to reorder the questions and so on. If we go back to the dashboard, it will ask you if you've made any changes to go ahead and make save the changes, or you can even stay on this page if you've um, entered that uh, accidentally. We'll go ahead and click exit there since we didn't make any changes. And again, this is where you're going to run your quizzes from, from your dashboard here. So when you find when you're ready to play a quiz, you'll go ahead and click play, and that will take you right into the mode um, of setting up the quiz. Remember, you do have some options. You can show the PIN number throughout. You can um, have some lobby instructions. You can randomize the order of answers in each question. So you might want to turn that on. You can play some music while you're waiting for everyone to enter. Um, you can move through the questions automatically. You can require players 
others to rejoin after you end each Kahoot, or you can leave them in that room. Um, and then you can display your venue's Wi-Fi details to players, which is nice if you're doing this for professional development or you have people who are not, um, you know, you're doing it for a business type of setup. Uh, you can um, display that information so that your student, your pe the people can easily log into your uh, uh, Wi-Fi. So that's how easy it is to create a Kahoot. There's lots of opportunities with this particular game and kids really have a fun time playing these games.